I love how I'm all, uh, uh, that's attractive. today's video I am doing kind of another collaboration I know people are like it's not a collaboration if they're not in your video but I consider it a collaboration I'm doing a collaboration with my friend Alba today and it is a Kim Kardashian collaboration my hair is like really bothering me because I parted it in the middle because Kim Kardashian tends to do that but it does not want to go to the middle it's like no you wear me at the side bar. Oh, also, I'm probably going to insert a clip right here of Alba saying hi. You guys are going to, like, die. She's literally drop-dead gorgeous. So. Hello, everyone. My name is Alba, or known as Alba Mayo here on YouTube. And I will be showing you the night-inspired look. Wait, is that how you say it? Night-inspired Kim Kardashian look. So, anyway, that's what I did. So, if you want to check it out, please go ahead and go to my channel. The link will be below. Hope you guys enjoy our videos. We had a lot of fun doing them. Want to know how to do a Kim Kardashian day look? Then just keep on watching. So yeah, you guys should go over and check out Alba's video. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. She is so good at makeup and she's such a sweetheart. Also, Alba and I are going to be doing kind of a collaborative giveaway. Uh, we will be giving away a paint pot, an eyeliner, and a tender tone. All of the rules will be listed down below and yeah. Let's hop right into the look and I will see you in a minute. Okay guys, so I am actually doing my eyes first. So I started by priming my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot in Bare Study. And then I am going on my eyelids with uh, my MAC Paint Pot in Rubenesque. So now I'm going to be taking a brush and I'm using the Maybelline Color Eye Tattoo. It's their version of like paint pots and I'm using Bad to the Bronze to just take that all over the crease of my eye and I'm going from front to back. Usually I keep all the color really focused on the outer corner but for this look I'm doing the entire eyelid front to back if that makes sense. So I'm using another Maybelline Color Eye Tattoo. Um, or whatever it's called, their cream shadow, in, I think it's called graphite. I, I'm not sure I'll have the products listed below. Um, and I'm taking the brush, and same thing, I'm going front to back, but I was focusing it a little lower this time, so not going as high on the crease. So now, I am taking the black shimmery color from the Naked Palette. Um, obviously, any black shimmery color works. It's not super duper black, but um, I'm taking that and I was starting at my eyelashes and just kind of pushing it in. So what I'm creating is kind of a gradient effect from the eyelashes being the darkest point up to the bronze on the crease. And now I am taking my blending brush and just really blending those colors together to really help make that gradient effect really smooth um, so there aren't really any harsh colors between the three that have been mixed, if that makes sense. So now I'm taking my brush and I'm doing the same thing on the other eye with the black, starting at the eyelashes, pushing up. Um, and I do get a little bit into my crease. It's just not as high as the bronze. And continuing with the blending brush. I'm talking so much. Oh my gosh. Okay. So now I'm doing my eyebrows and I'm just kind of combing them out. And I used, I believe, Dark Horse from Naked Palette to kind of shade in the more sparse areas on my brows. So now I am putting on my foundation. Um, just kind of rubbing it in and getting some cover not too much coverage but more of like even skin tone from this foundation wow I feel like I'm not making sense okay moving on to my concealer um I'm just taking this covering my dark circles the little freckles I have left from acne um they faded a ton and I'll actually link that video it's gotten so much better but I still have little baby scars so covering those up and now, no, I'm not flipping you off. I am blending in my concealer <laughs> around my nose, my chin, just kind of dabbing it into my skin. And now I'm taking my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and just kind of dusting it all over my face to kind of set my makeup, but I wanted to use something more than just a translucent powder because I like the slight coverage and evening out of my skin tone that um, the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish does. So now I am going to contour my face. Now Kim Kardashian, she pretty much always contours her face. I didn't have the guts to do like hardcore contouring, but I wanted to do a little bit because she does it and I do have a rounder face. Um, for those of you that don't know what contouring is, it's actually where you take bronzer or a darker powder. Um, typically it's supposed to be a bronzer with no shimmer. This has a little bit of shimmer, but 
it doesn't bother me. And you take the bronzer and you put it over the parts on your face that you want to kind of recede. So if you have a rounder face like me, um, I'm, t I'm putting that right below my cheekbones to make my face look more defined and to make my cheekbones really pop. Um, and I'm going over my forehead, under my chin, to just make my face look really slim and um, defined. So, yeah. Definitely not contouring pro, but there you go. <laughs> okay, so now I'm taking my big powder brush to kind of help uh, ease some of the harsh lines. And this blush actually has a highlighter already in it. So you know those blushes that are baked or have a little bit of shimmer through it? Those can kind of double as your highlighter and your blush if you just put the blush a little higher. So that's actually what I did here. <laughs> All right, so now I'm taking my Milani Liquify Eyeliner, um, and I'm lining my waterline as well as taking the eyeliner on the top, but I'm not even really creating a line. I'm kind of just pushing it into my eyelashes on the top to really start out that gradient effect of like dark to light. So once I push that in, I'm actually gonna take a brush and kind of smoke it out. Like I know it's not a line, but I want it to be a little darker and smokier at the base. Um, and yeah, there you go. <laughs> so now I'm taking my Physicians Formula Organic Wear Mascara, which is my favorite, and I applied multiple coats, even though Kim Kardashian would probably wear eyelashes. It's supposed to be a daytime look here, people. <laughs> and I'm applying my um, Nudie Pink Lipstick. I believe this is Cream Cup from MAC. And then topping it off with a Nudie Pink Lip Gloss, and this one is actually from BH Cosmetics. So, on to the outfit. Okay, the leggings I purchased at Old Navy. The purse is from Bag House. The boots are from downtown LA. And I love the random clothes just sitting on the left. <laughs> okay, the jacket was $20 from Tilly's. The scarf was from my friend April. And the t-shirt was from Target. Okay, the sunglasses are from Steve Madden. I love them. And that is it. Smooches! Like I said, all the rules will be down below. Please check out Alba and subscribe. You will love her. I will see you all next time. I hope you have a great rest of the day. And yeah, Mwah. bye. That for me. I have my acne under control, so I don't know if it would be if I had active acne. But it's not like I'm putting coconut oil on my face.